we are heading to the Philippines. We're going back, we're so excited. This is our last day in Samoa. We have absolutely loved our time here. Good morning. Something I feel like is important for you to know is that Samoa is a very family friendly place. And you know what's so cool? They also keep the Sabbath day holy. So everything is shut down. The Sabbath on Sunday is a holy day for them. I love that they honor who they are and what they believe. Today, here, now, we are also honoring what we believe and that is worshiping the Lord in his temple. Oh, it was so good to be in the temple again this morning. Such a beautiful, sunshiny day, and the house of God is always so beautiful on the outside as well as the inside. I feel so much peace, love, and joy from Heavenly Father. I'm so grateful to be with my family. This is our last day in Samoa. We have absolutely loved our time here. Samoa is a special place. The people are some of the kindest people we've ever met anywhere in the world. Uh, my boys made that comment this morning that they are so nice. We haven't met a single grumpy, angry, mad one. Uh, and that's such a unique thing. As well as we wave, anyone waves back, everyone waves back. Sometimes we think, oh, those are some teenagers. Those are some tough guys. Nope, they always wave with a big smile. And I just love that. This is a happy people, a happy place. And it is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Samoa is so special. I would invite and encourage anyone that's ever thought of coming to Samoa, come. It seriously is amazing. You will love it. It's fun to see all of this and to realize we've seen a lot of this amazing Samoa. Beautiful Samoa. We just said goodbye to Ty. He's the one from the Samoan Tourism Authority that uh, hosted us and did all the managing and the figuring out of everything. He was so kind. He was such a great host and did really bent over backwards to treat our family so well and especially to include grandma and grandpa with us. So grateful for Ty and the good Samoan people. We loved our time here. I have loved Samoa. Samoa has been such an amazing place for all of our family. I It has helped me grow a lot and it's helped me like see all the you know, good in people because everyone here is so like religious, so family centered, so just all the good things that you just want to be. Everyone's just so nice. Like they always have a big smile on, smiling, laughing, waving at you and it just is so fun. And I just, some of the things we've done here are amazing. My favorite things was the where we climbed up the cliffs and cliff jumped at Sunny Atu. Then uh, probably when we saw the stingray, probably the other one was when we saw that baby shark. Those were all amazing and were probably my favorite experiences while we were here, but others were so powerful. I would also say the, the Sunny Atu, the kids seeing to us just was so powerful. Like I've never felt the spirit that strong and I just, there were special things about everything we did, and I was just so grateful that we could come here. So, we'll miss you, Samoa. Love you. It's time to come to an end. Time to say goodbye to Samoa. We absolutely love Samoa. We love their people. We love everywhere we go. We loved this house. Totally recommend this house. It was awesome. So awesome.
now we're headed to the airport. host owns delicious cakes you need to go there and get either their passion fruit tarts or their passion fruit cheesecake it is so good and so we got another one on the way to the airport because we have to finish before we leave I mean we have to so we're gonna heading to the Philippines. We're going back. We're so excited to go back. I love the Philippines, especially because of the incredible people, some of the most hospitable, kind people I have ever met. And it's such a beautiful country. We're really excited to be back in the Philippines. This has been a crazy day. Um, we're here at the airport and there's always adventures here at the airport. Uh, we didn't have a flight out of uh, the Philippines yet. Uh, and we've got our plans, we know exactly where we're going, but we didn't book any flights yet. We had to get flights, they said you have to have proof of leaving the country or they won't let you in, and so we now have our flights, and thankfully we got great deals on our flights, they're ex perfect, actually better than what we expected, and uh, so just funny how things happen. This morning I prayed for miracles. And we've actually seen multiple miracles. Uh, even just our taxi driver, I guess the shuttle driver, he was so kind. This man from Russia that was so good to us and made friends. So it's been a great morning. It was early this morning when we woke up. Had to get up before like 5.30. Uh, not too bad. Uh, we'll be flying all day today to get to uh, the Philippines. We were, we'll fly through Hong Kong and then we arrive in Manila. Uh, we're really excited to be back. It'll be late right when we get to the Philippines, so we'll go right to bed because Philippines is behind several hours, I think four, five hours from here, and uh, so we are going to be exhausted when we get there. There's my girl. This is the coolest, like, panel. There's movies, TV, audio, games, food and drink. There's a flight map. There's a kid's map. I gotta show you a kid's map, but look how cool this is. There is a seat chat, so I can chat with my kids in their seats. I wanna send a message to Joe. Look, I wrote, what's up, dude? See if he's gonna say anything. Oh, look, he sent me a message. Hi, beautiful, this is big guy. And I wrote, hi, big guy. Send. Oh, and I got a smiley face back. Kids. Do they have more? Oh, they got more. Oh, they have that. Hotel Transylvania, Coco oh, Melon. Super Pop. I mean, I mean, Pop the Rock. And, oh, they have Ferdinand. What's in there? My AirPods. Whoa. Wow. That's so cool. A tiger. Tiger? Wow. It's a lion. Wait, where did you find that? Oh, it's on the kids' map. Oh, that's cool. Oh, is that a snow leopard? What does it do? Oh, wow. Oh, you just kind of move it around, huh? And that's fun. Gracie did Paw Patrol on the roll. Okay, you want to push play? Yeah. Play. It's exactly the one. It's coming.
was and the coral was just awesome. All right, first meal of the day. We've got chicken pasta and pork with rice. Roll, a little salad, cheese and crackers, and um, chocolate mousse. Airport lounges make the whole airport experience like so much better. And what's great is we are right by our next airline. Um, we've never been in like an open one. Like you can see down. We got some like glass noodles and barbecue ribs. You can order those just like hot instead of just going to like the buffet place. So that's pretty cool. Look, that's the dessert. Red bean soup for dessert. It looks good. It says it's a popular dessert in Hong Kong. Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's like refried beans kind of, <laughs> but runnier and sweet. Interesting. It tastes good. This glass noodle is so good. That's so cool. Is it sinking? <coughs> Whoa. Don't see mine. It's really cool, Grace. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really cool, Jake. Do you like my star fruit cake? Yeah. This food has been like so, just tastes and feels so good. Like the glass noodles are so good. Has musiman curry. 
with the rice that's so good. It's got those like fresh spring roll type things in the rice paper or the rice, I don't know what it is. Just like feels good and then they've got like pumpkin soup and <sighs> feels good. You love it. I love it, honey. That's so cool. Thanks. Good job. They've got these matcha green tea tarts with that red bean paste. That that like red bean stuff is like their dessert. And they're quite tasty. Whoa. He's watching Free Willy. It was a show I used to watch as a kid. We are on the plane to going to Manila, and um, we are all really tired. The kids seem to be fine, meaning Grace and Jojo. But it's like one in the morning from what we're used to. So we're, and we've been up since 5.30. We're really tired. couple hour flight and then we're there so and luckily we have like a night to sleep so when we get there it's like 10 30 at night when we get to Manila and then um, by the time we get to our Airbnb it'll probably be like midnight so then at least we'll be able to sleep for the whole night comes with headphones they have a fantastic kids movie library like a ton of movies the biggest library I've seen and this is only a two hour flight. I'm liking it. We still haven't even lifted off the ground and they are out.